My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Thank you very much for tuning in. What I have here is the final preview of the Black Tigress series of tents from One Tigress. This is the Nebula, with the first tents, the Kamita and the Stella. Those are more traditional backpacking tents, whereas this one, is purely for overlanding and for motorcycle use. This thing is big, it's heavy. With that being said, everyone, let's go ahead and begin this episode now. What we have here is the carry bag for the Nebula. You have two handles, a zipper across the top. I can tell you all, this is a heavy tent. We have some poles, tent stakes, guy lines, ground sheet, and we have the fly and also the body. We have 10 guy lines and we have 14 tent stakes. Now let's move over to the poles. Wow. <laughs> it looks like we have quite a few here. We have three separate packages of poles and two pole caps were included. With the poles here, we should have two that are 4.1 feet long, two that are 5.2 feet long, and four frame poles. Now, unfortunately, these poles are not connected, so if you get them mixed up with any other pole, you're gonna have a problem. So it's my advice that you keep the plastic sleeves here. When you take them out of the sleeves, you set them up. When you break them down, you put them up immediately. That's a shame in my opinion. I really do wish these were shock corded. I'm surprised to see that none of these poles are color coded. There's nothing to distinguishate them from other poles. And because of that, you can easily get them mixed up. And these are like your more traditional tent poles. They are shock corded. So again, everyone, you have two five foot poles, two four foot poles, and four frame poles. Now, unfortunately, there's no instructions on how to set this tent up. And that's a shame because the shape of this tent is different than most tents. In fact, when I'm looking at it, I'm not entirely sure how to set this up right now. I do see clips on the outside. I see grommets. So I do believe that the poles, the frame poles are external. Then you have two poles that go on the inside and then you have two additional poles for the vestibule. I'm going to set this up and I'll bring you all back in just a minute. All right, my friends, it's been about 20 minutes since I saw you all last. It took that long to figure out how to set up this tent. One of the issues with this was that when you go to the One Tigress website, you look at this tent, you really have no idea like what the shape of this thing is or what exactly this tent is. The pictures are not very clear. They do a good job of showing the outside, but not the inside. Unfortunately, there's no instructions here. Nothing is color coded. So it takes a little bit of time to figure out like what steps you have to do to set this up. Ultimately, I will put up an instructional video on how to set this up, a before you buy. That's what I call the instructional series involving tents. As I mentioned, I was a little bit confused about what exactly this tent is. Well, now that I have it set up, I can tell you all that this is a shell. There is no inner tent with this system here. So basically you set this up and you set up inside of it. There's zero bug protection with this tent because there's no inner. You have a large fly, some poles, some stakes, and that's it. The first thing that you will notice about this tent is the size. It is gigantic. I mean, it really is. When I was looking over the information and I was looking at what was included and I saw that it included like eight poles, I was thinking to myself, eight poles? Why does a tent need eight poles? Well, the design of this tent is funky. You have basically two frame poles on each side, that's four. Then you have two large setup poles, that's six. And then you have two poles for the vestibule. In truth, you need two more poles to set this up fully. That's because this tent features two vestibules. The company gives you enough to set it up with one vestibule open. You'll need two more to set it up if you want both vestibules open. The overall setup process for this tent is complex and it's going to take you some time, especially like the first maybe half dozen times that you set this up. The key is to figure out where the ground stakeout points are and to basically go around staking out the body. Pop in the poles, stake out the guy lines for those frame poles, then insert the five foot poles, and then stake out the guy lines for those poles. Then make all of your adjustments. Ultimately, the setup process, it's unique. It's definitely different. Let's go ahead, open up one of these vestibules, set it up, and then we'll go on the inside of the tent. That way you all can see really what this tent is. So here in the corners, you have zippers. 
you also have grommets for each of the poles. That everyone is what the tent looks like when you have the vestibule set up. Now again, you have two vestibules. You have one on this side and you also have one on this side. When it comes to these vestibules, behind those you have mesh doors. Each one of these can be rolled up and stored out of the way. Inside of this tent, I could tell you all that this is very, very unusual. Basically, you're looking at a shell. There's nothing on the inside. You do have two panels that go down to the ground, a sort of like snow skirt sort of thing. You have the two mesh doors, the nylon doors outside of that. We have storm flaps that go over those zippers. We have two vents on the inside of the tent, and we have a hook that hangs in the center. When it comes to the seams on this tent, they are all sealed. This is at least a two-person tent. Two person with two cots. You can even fit a cot and a motorcycle inside of this tent. The tent features two doors. And as mentioned before, you get the stuff sack, 14 tent stakes, 10 guy lines, eight poles, and a footprint. As far as the materials go, you're looking at a 40 denier silicone treated nylon. It features YKK zippers. And the footprint is a 68 denier polyester. Now this is available in two different colors black and also a licensed multicam. The waterproof rating for this tent is 3000 millimeters and it measures 13.1 feet by 7.8 feet wide and it has a peak height of 5.2 feet. As far as cost goes, 270 for the black version and get this, $780 for the multicam version. With the multicam version, that is licensed multicam. It's a very expensive material. It is what it is. Moving on. The company claims as far as the Black Tiger series goes, this is the sturdiest one. Based upon how many guy line points you have, I would say that's probably accurate. But it is a tall tent. With that being said, this is something that we will have to test out. Now everyone, let's go over my impressions of this tent so far. So starting with the setup process, I've already spoken about this, it is somewhat complex. As you set this up over and over and over again, it will become quicker and quicker. Right off the bat, the company needs to include some instructions because again, this is just a confusing mess of a tent. Setting this up, it's a chore, right? If it was really windy, this is probably the last tent that I would wanna set up. The overall design and shape of this tent is funky and that needs to be kept in mind. I don't wanna scare anyone off from purchasing this. I just want to prepare them for basically what this tent is and how it sets up. Again, it's going to get easier and easier to set up as you have more experience. But from the start, it's going to be somewhat complicated. It is a very strange design. It's not something that I've ever seen before. And I've seen a lot of weird tents. This one is definitely different. The fact that you have these frame poles, right? The way that they attach, they attach vertically. I've never seen that before. The overall quality of this tent looks to be very good. I've looked this over very carefully, very closely. I've seen no loose threads, nothing like that. As far as the materials go, Top notch, very, very good quality materials. You're looking at a nylon. You're not talking about polyester. The fact that the company can make these products made out of nylon for such low prices, it's very impressive to me. These are the same materials that the big companies are using and they're charging a hell of a lot less. As far as the size, it's big. As far as the weight goes, it's heavy. How heavy? 12.7 pounds. The doors are massive. It's easy to get in and out of this tent. This tent is large enough that you could set up a bug inner on the inside. You could have a table, a chair, and also a bug inner where you sleep. That's certainly possible. And I think that makes the most sense. Being that this tent is part of the Black Tiger series, it's designed for cold weather camping. But in this case, you don't have a fabric inner. You have large mesh doors. So in truth, you could use this in warmer conditions. The only thing that you need to keep in mind is the color, right? If you set this up in the sun, it is going to hold in some heat because of the black color. Is it drastically different than say like a white tent? No, a tent out in the sun is going to be hot no matter what, but black will hold in just a little bit more heat instead of reflecting it away. It is just simply what it is. Anyways, getting back to the point here, with this tent, you could use this in the summertime. You could use it with your motorcycle. You could use it for overlanding, and it does present an interesting option, especially for the price, $270. As far as issues go with this tent, I really don't have any other than the setup process. I've already spoken about this issue, and I'm going to do it one more time. Setting this up 
is a chore. And I'm curious, does the company have instructions on their website? I'm on their website looking at the tent, and I'm looking at the photos. And again, when you're looking at the photos, you really can't grasp what this tent is, what it's offering. Based upon the pictures that I saw, I thought that this tent featured a bug inner, but that's not the case. This is nothing more than a shell, a very large shell. I happen to like this. There's a time and a place for a tent like this. But again, it's not really shown, it's really not presented on their website very well. If there are any instructions on how to set up this tent on the One Tigress website, I do not see them. For this preview, folks i am done this is the nebula tent without a doubt it's very interesting very different again it is massive this is a very large tent and i'm curious what do you all think about it is this something that you would personally purchase is this something that you would use if you answer yes to those questions how would you use it winter time only cold weather only or would you use this in the summertime the fact that this tent is so big creates a lot of interesting possibilities. Setting up a tent on the inside, some sort of bug inner, that would definitely work. For now, everyone, I am done. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts. Stay tuned for the rain testing that I'm going to do with this tent and ultimately my review. Take care, be well, strength and honor.